What up dudes and dudettes, it's your guy Sugi here and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for Dolphin Emulator. I was asked to do a guide on how to install custom texture packs on Dolphin and that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Obviously there's already a lot of guides for this but some of them are done on older versions of Dolphin and they maybe are not as nuanced as this video is going to be since there's two methods to basically do this installation. So the first thing you will be obviously needing is the latest Dolphin version. Obviously there's a lot of versions to go for and most of these are going to be having a similar way of effect. I am using the Dolphin version 5.016793 and this was basically the latest auto update that I had on the Dolphin. So I'm using that version. I believe this one might be for beta and after obviously you have downloaded Dolphin and installed it and then obviously the next step is to actually download the ISO file for GameCube or Wii game whatever you're gonna be having and then you're gonna be obviously downloading the texture packs and there's a whole forum here on Dolphin forums where basically you can find a bunch of different texture packs for different types of games made by the community but remember that a lot of these texture packs may have certain specific settings. So if they have written down um, certain requirements here, for example, for the Mario Kart 64, there are certain settings that you have to disable on your Dolphin emulator. So when you're going to be switching games, uh, sometimes you might need to change out certain settings to make things work. So after you have basically downloaded the actual texture pack, you place it on your desktop or you have already put it into the actual right folder, which is Dolphin Emulator Load and then Textures. This is the right correct place to basically place your texture pack. Now, obviously, when you download Dolphin, there's going to be Dolphin dash x64 and then there's a Dolphin Emulator file. But once again, load textures and here I already have one texture pack and it's on this different of a string so that is actually the ID of the game so when we actually go into our dolphin emulator we have the games here so um, in the case you have the different view you can change the grid view out to the list view because the list view will show you the actual regions and the regions will have different codes. So for example, when we go into choosing the American version of Parenchytus, uh, and then we go to properties, and here we choose the info tab. And this is the game ID. So this is what you basically saw earlier on the folder, not this code, but similar looking code. But as you can see, the game ID is this, GK beef. But when we open up, the European version, properties, info, it is G K B path. Okay, so the string is different. So remember when you're downloading, uh, you know, a texture pack or something, and the version of the regional version of the game matters when you're gonna be renaming renaming that thing. So what I have downloaded here is the last story texture pack. So I'm gonna be going into properties, info. And now we're going to be copying this. So ignore if there's some type of a long string here. Ignore that. And control C. Copying that. Going back to that folder. And this is the texture file basically. Clicking F2. Allows to rename us. And voila. Now it's basically renamed. And now it's indicated that the texture pack is correlating with the game version that we have, you know, basically downloaded, which is the American version of last story. Now I'm going to launch the game and I'm going to be showing you the differences here. How does this everything work? Making sure that the volumes are going to, going to toggle off all the sounds here. And this is a Wii game and the exact process for both GameCube and Wii games is exactly the same. Remember that so uh, you don't have to learn anything like different here. And I'm just going to start the game here really quick. So I can show you the actual process here, how everything is done. And so one of the cool things about the dolphin thing is that you can toggle off the textures mid game. Okay, that's pretty cool. You kind of rename the folder mid game though, but I don't think you really need to have such a feature anyways. So basically once you have like downloaded the game, okay, let's uh, 
So okay, here we are on the game, and this is the, what the graphics basically look like. Now we can, let's put that tab down, let's move this screen here so you can see what's happening on here on the game as we do this. So the next step is pretty easy, very simple. You go into graphics tab and you choose utility load custom textures and see how the there's a little subtle changes there look at the lives font for example it changes you look at the textures here yeah they change they change here so you can see there's differences so you can actually like you know enable this and you're gonna have this prefetch custom textures when it does it on the when the game starts this is for you know, if you have a really bad PC, then you wanna maybe toggle this off. But fundamentally, I really recommend this. It's kinda like, you know, fixes the possible stuttering. Now also, that's basically how everything is done. That's how easy it is to basically install it. Now another thing you have to do, maybe, is when you go to Enchantments tab, there might be a auto setting here. So it will be putting you some shitty resolution. Here you can adjust the resolution. Um, let's see if this actually works on mid game. It actually does. So let's go back. Let's go 5K. Look at the resolution difference here. Once again, native 5K. Okay, th I think we crashed the game now. Okay. But that's how that's how like fundamentally easy this is. And there's will always be this sort of a message here loading how many textures. Okay. Sometimes it will show loading zero MB of textures. That means that something basically has gone wrong or the folder that you downloaded which has the custom textures is maybe having a wrong name. So that's how easy it is basically to install the custom textures. But there is another part which is actually I didn't find out a single video about this by the way. Also there's another way to basically install these texture packs and that is going through to the tools and resource pack manager. Certain games or certain certain of these texture packs are basically using this method. So basically uh, here I can see the HD packs that I currently have and here on the right I can open up the directory and this is where you're gonna be pasting your files and it's basically on the same folder Dolphin Emulator. So here was the load textures where we put out our other texture things. So going back to Dolphin Emulator, resource packs, and this is where we pasted it. However, these are in zipped files, so do not unzip this file, okay? You just put it in there as zipped, and it basically should appear on the resource pack manager. You can click refresh if it's not, and then when you have, basically it shows up, then you choose install. And this will make um, the dolphin maybe freeze up for like one or two seconds. Now you can see not responding, and you can like, click Alt F4 right now and reopen the Dolphin and the texture pack is uh, actually installed or you can wait like a couple of seconds like I just did and now basically the texture pack has been installed and it's now working but once again this is not something um, that is happening on every single game this is the only game that I have come across so far that is using the resource pack manager instead of like the other copy pasting thing but I thought I would be mentioning this because there's no actual tutorials about the resource pack manager on YouTube and everybody else is just showing the other way so the reminder once again uh, make sure that you're gonna be having that internal resolution checked out on the graphics tab and on the advanced choosing load custom textures and if you have a good computer prefetch, prefetch custom textures and a lot of other settings you can put in like borderless fun uh, full screens and things like that and as I already mentioned in the beginning of the video certain games will require certain settings and usually just going into that specific thread uh, you will find you know the most uh, ideal settings for make that game run because some setting might you know cause black screen or crashes and things like that so you gotta be pretty careful about that but hopefully this guide was good and very clear enough so I don't need to like really further uh, you know tell you anything in case you have something to ask you can do that in the comments and I may be able to help you in case you want to see more um, emulator tutorials perhaps on another 
console like PS1 emulators, PS2 emulators, PS3 emulators, let me know and maybe I will get around to them at some point. Check out my other emulator based reviews on the channel obviously and obviously as a last step of this guide, make sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, I will be seeing you next time.